Yo, it's almost like we didn't do another fucking reaction yesterday. I know when I did that reaction yesterday, it was really, really covered up. And I apologize to some people that hardly could see anything. Um, it was the Japanese trailer. And the Japanese trailers are even worse to make coverage videos of that about since... I think the next time I do that, I'm probably just going to do screenshots afterwards. Like, I'll do a little bit of reactions covered up, but next time, I'll do screenshots afterwards. Because I know, I understand it was barely able to watch. But guys, we got an English one. Apparently, apparently, I'm late to the party as usual, but it was my birthday today. So I'm rightfully late. It was my birthday today. Fuck that noise. If you guys are enjoying, so like, subscribe. I'm excited for Ultras of the Moon, dude. Let's go, dude. Okay, we know about this. Adventure through an ultra wormhole. I knew it! We all knew it! It was a mini game! Everybody knew it was a mini game! I said this in my video yesterday. Everybody knew it was a mini game. Battle the Ultra Beast on their home turf? Nigga, what the fuck? These are gonna be the greatest games! Ultra Megalopus? Megalopolis. A world where Necrozma has stolen the light. It's an alternate world. That fucking... Huh? The Ultra Recon Squad. Dolph and Zossie. These games are raw shit. Why does that say Ultra Sun only though? Are they different Ultra Moon? Yes, they are. Fico and Solera. Dog, these games might be... Some of the best Pokemon games. Real shit. Wait, what is... What is... What? A poison Ultra Beast? Fairy! Fairies are dead! Fairies are dead! He is my favorite Ultra Beast. Right then and there. This thing is cute as shit. And now what's this typing? Fairy fighting? No! Stop the video. What the fuck, Game Freak? Fire Ghost. The amount of the amount of weaknesses that things have. Knock off, Stone Edge, Rocks, Earthquake, Water. Ghost itself. But I mean, at least you quads this bug. Are you immune to fighting? Oh my! I was really hoping everybody that said fire, you guys are right. 100% you guys are right that everybody has said fire because there's a lot of people that said fire typing and 100% you guys are right 100% you guys are right because everybody that assumed it'd be a fire typing I sat there and I'm like how how it cannot be a fire typing um, and then I watched back the trailer a couple times on it going for some move on a Metagross and a Decidueye and it was super effective and I'm like everyone's assuming it's a fire type I assumed that it was a ghost type I maybe assumed that it was fire or my, my, the one that I wanted was fire fa fairy fighting, but I assumed that it'd be some type of a ghost type. Oh, it's it's fire ghost. I, I, I'm a little disappointed at his typing, but he still looks cool as fuck, so I'm fine by it. What is the other one? Steel. A new move, Mind Blown. That was the move, okay. But he does damage to himself. That shit is gonna be trash! Rock Steel. Oh. Oh, why would you do this? It had potential to be like Steel Ghost. It had potential to be Steel Ghost. But instead, they did Rock Steel. Which, it makes sense because he's literally made up of rocks. But they're like harder rocks, so steel. I mean, it makes sense, but... Oh, I wish it were not. I wish it were not. Okay, so the ones that we originally saw, UV, UV Burst and UV Assembly, so far... I mean, especially UV Burst right now, look at like a glass fucking cannon. Weaknesses to so many things, and he does damage to himself from Mind Blown. That mod is going to be trash. It depends where we go, guys. It depends where we go. What about this guy? No signature move? That's just Iron Defense. No signature move. Dog, these games are going to be raw as shit. Let's sit back and go and analyze these bitches. So, adventure through an Ultra Wormhole. We already knew that you'd be able to adventure through an Ultra Wormhole. Everybody knew. I mean, at least I knew. I said in my video yesterday, we hypothesized and said that this is going to be brand new. Uh, what should I call it? This new mini game, because it looked like a mini game, and it, it, that it was, that it was. I mean, you can even look at it here from the Lunala. This one here really made me think that it's a mini game, because you look at this and you're like, okay, bitch. Now this one's crazy. This one says Battle Ultra Beast on their home 
turf, meaning that this is the closure for sun and moon. This is it. This is it. So this is fucking nuts. Now I know a lot of people for some reason are idiotically saying they're giving us too many information. They're not. They're not. They're literally not. There's so many things we still don't know. We just know the base premises of it now. We know the plot. We don't know. No, we don't know what's gonna happen. And in most Pokemon games, we kind of know the plot on what's an idea, a figment of our imagination, some type of idea of what's happening inside of the story. But we never know truly 100%. And every time we hypothesize and make the theory videos and always say, oh, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, it ends up never happening. Remember everybody that said they're going to get a Lolan Arcanine and it's going to be a water type or a Lolan Alakazam that's going to be psychic fighting or fairy fighting? That didn't happen. That didn't happen at all. That actually didn't happen. Or all these alternate Megas or all these other Alolan Mons we'd be getting in these games that still didn't happen. I mean, it's not too late to get new Alolan Mons though. I mean, since it's a whole... Which I'm confused if anybody wants to break it down. Is it a sequel or is it an alternate timeline? I hear, I hear both equally, so... I may have to look into it again. But this is Raw as shit. When you battle Ultra Beast on their home turf. Look at it. When you battle Circuitry, you're on actual Circuitry's like tethers and wires that you're climbing on and you're avoiding his thunder shocks look at that he shocked that right there dog that's nuts and look at him running look at him running back there look at him <laughs> so the running animations the walking animations that we actually saw that were leaked in uh sun and moon are actually an ultra sun and ultra moon so everybody thought that that's why we would get Pokemon walking behind you or everybody thought that Pokemon quote unquote stars would come on the Nintendo Switch since you see Pokemon walking behind you. That's not the case at all. It looks like it's some type of mini game. Maybe the Pokemon can walk behind you only when you're uh, in the Ultra Beast home turf and you're going after them since they're running. I don't know if we have to see it yet. We've yet to see it yet. We've yet to see it yet. Because I'd like to know what it is for. Because I saw this exact same Zerkatry running animation inside one of the leaked running animations for Zerkatry. The boy was happy as shit. Look at, look at, look at his running animation. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Well, I mean, if you can see it, because I still have the uh, layover a little bit over it. Um, another thing. Look, look, look at this. Oh my God. I wonder who that one is. Oh, it's here. It's uh, Buzzwall. Which imagine people ask this art style. I don't know who made this, either it's Ken Sugimori or somebody else made this, but this looks fucking godlike. This looks fucking godlike. It's like an ancient civilized city of darkness. That looks godlike. A world where a Krasma has stolen the light. Which, I mean, you can see these pillars right here. They do look a lot like a Krasma. I'm not gonna lie. They do look a lot like the Krasma, dog. They look a lot like a Krasma. I'm not gonna lie. And this is the Ultra Recon Squad, which they have different admins. Uh, respective towards um, the games, which that's what Oris did as well, and Ruby and Sapphire. They did that as well, so you guys can't... It's not really original, but I mean, I liked when Ruby and Sapphire did that. I wish more Pokemon games would do that. I actually liked that one aspect of Hoenn, where they had um, different alternate teams and different alternate admins. So that's, that's pretty cool, but I mean, it's still the all, all the same Ultra Recon Squad. My only question is, and that's one thing they didn't reveal, is who is behind it? Lusamine isn't behind it. We saw her in the trailer yesterday getting fucked over. Everybody in Aether Paradise is clueless. Gladion, Lily. Um, even maybe it's Guzma's clueless too. So I'd like to know who's behind it. Who's the mastermind behind the Ultra Recon squad? I don't think these guys are captains more along admins. So I would love to know who's behind the whole scheme. I said when they showed us the admins for uh, Team Aether. And I was like, who the fuck's behind this? And then it was actually Lusamine when they told us that she was a president. And yeah. So, yeah. People say to get us to information. There's still a lot of things we don't know. Who the fuck's behind us? Why Necrozma wants to take the light? Necrozma's new alternate form. That star form that we still have yet to see. Since he takes all of the light. Will he become light himself? Who knows, dude? Who knows? Um, calm yourself, Zozi. There's only one thing we're here to confirm. Okay. Their little, their little animation is cool because it looks like they're coming out of a wormhole. That shit is raw as fuck, dog. Um, Ultra Recon Squad Dulce. And then what do these guys say? So there are aura readings in this place. There has to be effects of that one. See how they're keeping a vague of which one? 
And then let's go back to here. The text that they actually said here. Did they not say text here? Huh? What the fuck was that, dog? Um, I mean, again, like, their, their little sliding cutscenes are so cool. And then this nigga, the Tapu Slayer! The Fairy Slayer! And fairies have been dominating the meta, I can't tell you how long. And for this thing to be- Oh my god, guys, I love this thing. This right now, in Mars Shadow, top two favorite mons, entire Alola. These two right here. Top two favorite, hands down, no question. This thing looks amazing. It looks godlike. I love it. It's like a little chibi alien. So I, I love everything about it. I love its typing. I love it. I perfectly love it. I've wanted some type of poison legendary for a long time. And not that I can think of because everybody always say RC is poison. No. This is the closest I think we're getting to a poison legendary. I think this actually is a the closest. Since Ultra Beasts aren't really Pokemon, they're Ultra Beasts. They're like aliens. But... They're still somewhat considered legendary, sure. I think yeah, but there's more than there's more than one of them as a thing. Like there, there isn't just one. There's more than one of them. So it's interesting, but I am glad that we got one. This thing is literally going to shred Tapus. This thing is going to shred berries, Clefairy, Azumarill, Mega Gardevoir. It's going to just sh just shred, just shred. I don't know if I can see the thing getting banned or not. Uh, it depends how, how much of a dominant force it is. I mean, we still have very powerful mons that can stop the thing. Like Mega Zam, who will... I don't know what this thing's speed say. I mean, it looks fast as shit. I'm not going to lie. Since the thing is so small, it's got to be fast as hell. So I don't know about that. Um, the thing looks powerful and fast. And it looks not frail, but not bulky. You know what I mean? But it can get by. Either it's going to get by or it's going to be frail. It's going to be one of the two. But this thing looks insanely adorable. I'm in love with this Pokemon. I'm actually in love with this guy so much. Everything about him I love. That Sludge Wave or Sludge Bomb one of the two. Look at him, he's so cute. Look at him. That's my mod. That's my that's my mascot mod from Alola right there. Right there. Right fucking there. And then Ultra Beast Burst, which is really disappointing to me. Fire Ghost. It, offensively, it's a good typing. Defensively, no. You may think defensively is because the quad is this bug. It resists fairy. Um and it's immune to fighting. So actually, you know what? I'm probably just being too harsh on it. It actually sounds decent now that I say out loud all of its resistances. Because it's immune to fighting. It resists fairy. It quad resists bug. That's it. That's actually it. That's it. Just so three. If it didn't have fairy and fighting, I'd be shredding the thing. But it has fairy and fighting. Two very offensive typings. So fairy and fighting right there. So that's something. Um, it's like, I mean, it depends on the thing's defenses too, which I'm going to be honest with you guys. Look how skinny it is. It's not going to have any defenses. It's not going to have. And the, and the fact that it does damage to itself too. Are you? Maybe you, you. Just for glass cannon, you, you. I don't know. Maybe people just won't even run mind blown. I don't know. I don't know. VGC though, I don't really know. I do want to get involved over VGC. I know I say that every year. And I actually do try to get involved within VGC every year. It's just, I give up eventually. You know what I mean? But he was from mind blown there. And then this one's probably more upsetting because this is such a basic typing. I mean, at least the other ones were pretty unique. Fire Ghost. You don't have much of those. You have like Chandelure. And that's it. If I'm not mistaken, or am I forgetting somebody? I The whole Chandelure Evolution line. Am I forgetting somebody? I was going to say Core Guys. These Grass Ghosts. I don't think I'm forgetting anybody. I think that's it. In terms of Fire Ghost, I think that's it. So now we have another Fire Ghost. Um, UB Assembly, though. Uh, I feel like he's just going to be a tank. Like, he could be the next Celesteela. The only, but one of the big reasons why Celesteela is so good is its typing and the bulkiness. You need the combination of the two. To have a typing like this, you're quad weak to ground, you're weak to water, you're weak to fighting. Quad. Quad weak to ground and fighting, you're weak to water. Um. Oh, you're neutral to fire. Since fire is, since rock is fire. Um, probably neutral to a lot of things too. Yeah, neutral to ghost, neutral to rock, neutral to dark. Um, and we at least here we're just dragging a fairy. So it's a steel type. That steel typing is really carrying it. I'm not gonna lie. But rock typing is decently offensive, but. Ooh. I don't know, dude. I don't know. This is gonna be a hard one because he still has such a prominent weakness. Like I just said, quad be both to fighting 
But I mean, the same thing with, with Tyranitar when he's Rock Dark, according to all these things, and still very viable, still very playable. So, I mean, it, it all comes down to the nitty gritty on what the thing is capable of doing. Because on paper, Tyranitar sounds like trash, but he's so good. So, it depends on paper what's really going to happen with this. It just depends on paper. It just depends on paper, and we're going to see where it goes. But, like I said, guys, you can still see. Look at this bitch right there. Look at this bitch right there. That's going to happen. Either that's so new Silvaldi form that absorbs all the light and becomes our god. Or after Krasma breaking his armor off and showing all the light that he's absorbed. I'm telling you, it's going to be like that. Or Krasma breaks off all his armor, and the light's going to be so compressed inside. It's going to be new to Krasma. I'm sorry for switching out the video. I'm just excited and love talking about the stuff you guys enjoyed. Sub, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.